Attempt not, but achieve. Why Founders Day and why now? 65 years after the school was founded, it remains a very special place. They don't know the story of an enigmatic teacher, a transformative educator, who drew students to him like Ma's Delight. Parents sought him out. He had taught at Midland, and he was teaching at Laguna Blanca, and asked him if he would be the founding headmaster of the then Valley Farm School. I now want to introduce you to these pioneering students from the earliest days of Dunn, whose family do families donated some of the original funds and, of course, put their faith in a young, enthusiastic Englishman full of promise in his dusty little valley school. First, we have Dr. Jeffrey Shannon, first graduating class of 1961. Miss <laughs> Vicki Hughes, who was here in the seventh and eighth grade and one of maybe three girls that were in the school, I think, at that time. Mr. John Calvi, also first graduating class of 1961. Imagine you are in a room with <clears throat> alumni from the early days of Dunn School, the first graduating class of 1961. What would you ask them? And what would you want to know about their time at Dunn? The most important thing is to follow your dream. Even if you don't quite know what you want to do with your life as a senior, um, it will come to you. But follow your dream, follow your energy. Without it, you're not going to accomplish much. I room for a class. Sometimes Mr. Dunn taught us Latin under the oak trees right there. And it was so exciting for me. I just couldn't get enough. Um, I would say soak up as much as you can because this will stand you in good stead when you go on to college or whatever you choose. It's going to be something, hopefully, that doesn't just teach you how to make money, although I'm not ashamed of that, and if that's what you want, you'll learn how. But it'll also teach you how you start a nonprofit, how you be scrappy, how do you get along in a world where every two weeks the technology changes and you might feel behind. How does it make you a winner in a world full of lots of other winners? Honored to be able to help in this way, and I hope to help in lots of other ways by honoring a lot of the teachers, not just Bob Jurgensen. He was one of many great teachers, but I thought that's probably the best way to start is with a guy that helped me make the money in the first place. So thank you very much. Founders Day is about DNA from this day forward, perennial event, the last Friday of April to commemorate Tony Dunn, the spirit in which the school was founded.